Good day, good day, good day. Hello, Mason and Andrew and Nathan and Lydia and Natalie. Hello to all of you. So we're still working on Come Look With Me, Enjoying Art With Children. And let's see once where we're going to go for today. Let's go to the table of contents. And we're going to look Francisco de Goya y Lucientes. And he painted the portrait of Manuel Osorio Manrique de Zunia. Let's see if we can't find that. That is on page 10. So let's turn a few pages. We did this one already. Here it is. Let's put it out here so that you can see. This is the picture that was painted by Francisco de Goya y Lucientas. And it is a portrait, and that's what you call when you paint something of someone. This is a portrait of Manuel Osorio. All right. And the person who did the painting, his name was Francisco de Goya. And this is what Francisco looked like. Mr. Goya, de Goya. When Goya was a young man, he painted scenes of everyday life in Spain to decorate the king's royal palaces. Filled with light and bold color, many of his paintings showed the happy side of life. In 1792, an illness left Goya deaf. If you're deaf, that means that you cannot hear. Okay, So he was deaf. Soon his art began to reflect a darker side of life, especially the violence of war. This portrait that he made of Manuel Osorio, that he was the son of a Spanish count, it is one of the first of Goya's commissioned portraits of children. The boy is dressed in a scarlet suit trimmed in lace and satin. No doubt, one of the best outfits his parents could buy for him. I'm sure of it. Unaware of the danger of his pet bird, we'll have to look for that, he holds onto a string while the cats look on with big eyes. Goyer printed the boy's name at the bottom. You can't hardly see it. You need to look in your book and then you'll see it. He, pe he printed the boy's name at the bottom, and then he painted his name on that sign right there. So if you look really close, maybe get a magnifying glass, you can see that. The bird is holding a sign in his beak, and that is the name of the painter, Goya. All right, so let's look at this picture here real quick. The boy is holding a string. Do you see the string? There it is, going right down there. And if you look real close, you may have to get your book out. You can see it's tied to his foot. Where does it go is the question in the book. It goes down to the bird and it's tied to his foot. Why? Why does he have that string tied to the foot of that bird. What do you think? What do you think about that? Why did he do that? What do you think the little boy is thinking about right now? Look at his eyes. Look at where they're going. What is he thinking right now? Is he thinking about the bird? I don't think he's thinking about the cats. What do you think might happen to the bird? with the cats. There's two cats. There's one here and there's one in the background a little bit further. It's darker. You can't, it's in the shadows. Okay. There's two of them right there that we can see. What might happen to the bird? If, if the boy doesn't do something, what could happen? All right. Now you describe to me, describe the boy's clothes. What do you, th what do you think? Hit the color of the clothes the collar, the belt. Yeah, it's pretty fancy, isn't it? It's got a red suit on with the, the fancy collar and 
fancy silk belt sure enough how do you think the clothes would feel if you would touch them if you felt them would it feel soft or would it be rough how would it feel would you like to be dressed this way why why would you want to wear that outfit okay all right so we're going to be drawing something based on this and as we looked at this picture here of the little boy um, manuel osario we saw the two cats and the bird well i feel for that bird we want that bird to get away don't we so let's draw a bird today shall we put the book away and i'm going to show you a very simple way to draw a bird okay this is the step by step of how to draw a bird it shows you first you draw a circle and then after you draw the circle you add these two triangles right here and that's the beak and then you put a dot for a um, eye you can do a thinner line around it if you wanted to otherwise just leave it as a dot and we'll do two of them to show you the difference then you have to do these little squiggies it almost looks I'll turn it a little bit it almost looks like a three with an extra loop doesn't it look like a three so we're going to make a three with an extra loop for wings and then we're going to make another three with an extra loop for a tail and then we're going to draw some lines. We did lines last time. We're going to draw some lines for the legs. Okay. It's very simple. I think you can do it. Yes, I do. Let's get a piece of paper. Any paper would do. Some computer paper. Ask the mom. She'll give you something if you don't have access to it. First thing you do is draw a circle. The best way to draw a circle is to go fast. And my circle isn't quite as circular, so I can go over it again if I want to make it more circular, more like a circle. But it doesn't really matter. Whatever happens, happens. Don't be bummed by it. Now we're going to do the, and I've got some pretty big beak there because I wanted you to see them. I'm going to do a, the eye right here, very close to the beak. Then we're going to do the three and an extra bump. And then over here we're going to do three and an extra bump. And then the lines, we'll do two lines down. That's the two lines right here. And then we're going to do three, count to them, one, two, three. And then over this one, one, two, three. And then birds have a little, another one going to the back. All right. Let's draw it one more time real quick. And then you can do it yourself afterwards all by yourself. A circle. We're going to do two triangles. We're going to do the eye. And this one I'm putting a circle around it. We're going to do some three with an extra bump. Three with an extra bump. One line down, two line down. We'll count to three. One, two, three. Count to three. One, two, three. Put one to the back and one to the back. There's our bird. Now I already drew some before. These are some that I drew before. Now do you see that they're not completely circular? That's okay. Sometimes when you draw a circle you get a little bit of straight here and there. Sometimes your beak is thick. Sometimes it's thin. Sometimes it goes a little bit to, to the this away, and sometimes it's a little bit that away. Sometimes you got big tail feathers, sometimes you get little ones. Sometimes you have amazing feet, and sometimes the feet are wondering which direction are they really going. But you've got the bird got drawn, and that's what matters. So try and draw some birds. Let me see what you've done. And I trust that you will enjoy it. Bye.